very good morning to you. This indeed is the day the Lord has made for you and I to rejoice and to be glad in it. My name is Pastor Daniel Gichana and I'm excited to share in the devotion with you this week. And I want to focus on what I call mastering good success. Mastering good success. I feel now that we are in the middle of the year, it is important for you and I to look back and to take stock of the far we have come and to continue on course for the remaining half of this year. And one of the things we need to do is to master good success even in the middle of the year. The book of Joshua chapter number 1, I want to read verse 1 to verse number 9. The word of God says, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all the people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said, to Moses. From the wilderness to the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, and all the land of the Hittites, and to the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage, for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from me to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you'll make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I want us to take a number of observations from this passage that we have read, and these are the observations that I'm able to see. Number one, despite how significant a season is, it will always come to an end. Moses had been the man that was leading the nation of Israel and God had worked tremendously, wonderful miracles through his life and his ministry. Indeed, he was a blessing. He was a leader like no other. But guess what? A time reached and he died. And God says to Joshua, my servant Moses is now dead. Therefore, you've got to arise and go on with the purpose for which I had laid out. The second thing I want us to observe is that upon the beginning of a new season or era, God's word must take the first place. Upon the beginning of any new season or any new era or any new month or any new week, it is important that the word of God begins with us. And it's a blessing that we have got this platform whereby every day of the week, we are able to receive a word that helps us to start off our day with the blessing of God. The third thing I need us to observe is that a new season demands one to arise and to pursue the purposes of God. Whenever the seasons change, you and I have got to understand the purpose of God does not change. What God had said to be done, what God God had given as a direction still continues. And if we are going to master good success, it's important for you and I to be able to understand that a new season demands us to arise and pursue the purpose of God. The fourth thing I need you to note is that God always provides us with His abiding presence. He has promised us to never leave us nor forsake us. And I want to encourage you today, even as we are right in the middle of this year, 2021, be encouraged, my brother, be encouraged, my sister. God has promised to never leave you. He has promised to never forsake you. And you can bank on the abiding presence of the Lord. Even this very day, even this new week, we can depend upon His promise. We know He has said to us, He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. We may be facing challenges. We may be facing mountains. We may have to go through some valleys and come up on the other side. But this is the blessed assurance that we have. In as much as all these things have come on our way, in as much as we are dealing with a new season and a new time whereby everything else may look so different 
I need you to understand the abiding presence of God is still with us. And even this very day, that presence will be with you. That presence will be with me. The fifth thing I want us to observe is this. Because of the assurance of God's abiding presence, we can face life with boldness and courage. Because of the assurance of God's abiding presence, you and I can face life with boldness and with courage. Yes, we have come thus far in this year 2021, but I want you to have boldness and courage that the remaining half of this year, you are going to still be an overcomer. You're still going to be a winner. You're still going to be victorious. Why? Because God is together with you. His presence is together with you. His presence is together with me. I need you to observe number six, boldness and courage is required to receive the fulfillment of the promises of God in our lives. I'll say that again, boldness and courage is required to receive the fulfillment of the promises of God. There are things God has spoken to you. There are things God has spoken to me. There is a word you have spoken over the congregation. There is a prophetic word running through this entire year. I need you to understand my brother, my sister, we need boldness and we need courage to be able to see these promises come to pass. Remember this, God told Joshua, you must be bold and courageous because you shall give these people the land as an inheritance because that word I gave it to Abraham, who is their father. I gave this word to the other patriarchs as well. And therefore, Joshua, you've got to arise, be bold, be courageous, and you will have what I have promised. And I don't know about you, but probably there's a promise God has already given to you. Probably there's a word God has already spoken over your life. I came to encourage you. I came to tell you, upon the basis of the abiding presence of God, you've got to face life with boldness and courage. You've got to face life as a victorious individual. You've got to face life knowing this, that God is with me. And because he's with me, then I know I am more than a conqueror. I know I am victorious. I know I am a winner. I know even the remaining half of this year, I'm still going to conquer and I'm still going to do well. Therefore, be encouraged, my brother, my sister, that this presence requires you and I to be bold and to be courageous. Therefore, this day as you step out, step out in boldness, step out in courage. Number seven, I need you to note this. To master good success, we must understand what the scriptures call good success. That is definitely what you're going to be exploring in the course of these devotions this week because you've got to master good success. Remember this in verse 8, Joshua 1, 8, the Bible says, The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. I need you to note this. Number eight, success is conditional. If we are going to be masters of good success, we've got to understand that success is conditional. And what is the condition? Is that we've got to be a people that are going to meditate in the Word of God. We're going to be individuals who are going to meditate upon the Word of God day and night. Why? Because when we do that, the Bible says we make our own way to become prosperous. We make our own way to have good success. And I want to encourage you, my brother, if there is a key that will take you through the middle of this year right to the end, it is the Word of God. If there is any place that should be your fallback, it must be the Word of God. Because when you meditate upon it day and night and you observe to do according to all that is written in it, then guess what? Your own way begins to become prosperous. Your own way as far as your business is concerned, as far as your endeavors are concerned, as far as your dreams are concerned, as far as the days that you're looking forward to in the future are concerned, all of these, the Bible says, they are going to be made prosperous and you will have good success. And this is very important for you and I to know that we can be masters of good success. And the key is to abide in the word 
of God. Friend, there are eight statements I've made and I just want to go over them and then we pray together. From Joshua chapter number one to verse number nine, we observe the following. Number one, despite how significant a season is, it will always come to an end. You've got to understand that. There are some great seasons we face, some nasty seasons that come, some ups and downs, but this is the good thing. They all come to an end. Upon the beginning of a new season or a new era, or even the remaining half of the year, God's word must take first place in our lives. God declared to Joshua, this is the direction, this is the word I gave, and this is the word you will still pursue. Friends, the third thing we have observed is that a new season demands you and I to arise and pursue the purpose of God. That's what a new season demands of us. That yes, the seasons have changed, but the purpose of God remains the same because He does not change and He never goes back on the word that He has spoken. The fourth thing we have observed is that God always provides us with His abiding presence. He has promised to never leave us nor to forsake us. I want to encourage you, you're not alone even as you face the remaining half of this year. You're not alone in this new day you're about to embark on. You're not alone in this week that you're looking forward to go through. Friends, God is with us. His presence is with us. And we have the promise, He will never leave us, He will never forsake us. Friends, we've observed number five, because of the assurance of God's abiding presence, we can face life with boldness and courage. We can face life with boldness and courage. This week, you will face it with boldness. This week, you'll overcome with great courage. This week, you are victorious because God's presence is together with you. Number six, we've observed that boldness and courage is required to receive the fulfillment of the promises of God. No matter what God has said, friend, it calls you and I to respond in boldness and to respond in courage. Remember, God told Joshua, have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Have I not called you to be strong and courageous? And friends, this week, this day, this remaining half of the year, we are facing it with boldness and courage in the name of the Lord. Friends, number seven, we've observed to master success, we must understand what the scriptures call good success. And of course, number eight, we've identified that success is conditional. And what is the condition? To meditate day and night upon the Word of God. To be a people that will be found in the Scripture. To be a people filled with the Scriptures. To be a people that are committed to the Word of God. And I trust, dear friend, we will master good success this week and the remaining half of the year. Let's pray together and trust God for this day. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to look at your word, to study your word, to receive insight and revelation. We commit ourselves into your hands this morning. We pray, dear Lord, lead us and guide us. Fight our battles for us. Take over that which seems impossible. Glorify yourself in our lives. Give us a new song to sing. Give us a testimony to testify. We surrender all our endeavors into your hands. And we pray that, Father, you will lead us and crown our efforts with good success. We trust you that the remaining half of this year will be better than the first half of this year. We thank you for the word we have, that this is the year of mounting up. Therefore, we declare we've been made eagles and we are mounting up victoriously with boldness and courage because you are with us. You'll never leave us. You'll never forsake us. We thank you and we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. May the Lord richly bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue to study how to master good success. Mm -hmm.